Hey Facebook, Don Victor here, doing um, my core 80 call today. Got a little bit of energy back, which is nice. Uh, and um, let's go ahead and get the opening credits out of the way. There, there we are. And. Uh, Cool beans, cool beans. So we're going to take actually a look at a photo today and look at the design of it and um, and have a conversation. And yes, I am sporting a Core 80 Academy of Composition t-shirt. So anyone who signs up will be getting this t-shirt actually uh, we're looking at a couple different styles right now so I just got this one printed up and uh, another one printed up uh, with a different image on it just working out the image that I like um, and then there's uh, a couple different t-shirt styles that um, uh, I want to try it on and, and pick the one that uh, best fits the uh, vibe of the core 80 um, And uh, so yeah, that's Core 80, Academy of Composition. We're rocking it, we're wearing it, we're gonna do it proud. And, and understand, there's only gonna be 80 of these shirts given out. Because after 80, it ain't the Core 80. So then we have to go into the center 300, and then we gotta go get 300 shirts for those folks. So if you want one of the Core 80, you gotta get into the Core 80. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get it. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into the work today. Let's take a, a look at this photo of uh, Billy Preston. Oh, my bad. Wrong photo. There we are. There is the photo. I really, really like this photo. Um, obviously, it's a famous photo. But what I wanted to talk about was cropping. Now, at the Academy, we call it fields, which is the outer perimeter of your artwork. And so when you crop an image, you change the field of that original artwork. And um, sadly to say, most of the time, it destroys that artwork. Because the cropped version doesn't take into consideration oftentimes the story, the design, what was being captured in the eye of the, of the in this case, the photographer or composed by the artist. Um, and when you change the field, you have to be very, very careful. You want to make sure that you change the field in such a way that it actually continues to relate to the gamut or the lines and the spaces composed with inside of the composition. If you don't, then there's this very weird uh, energy between the two and it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't come across right. Uh, and I'm going to show you that here in a second. So here is the original image. And you can feel him singing. You can feel the uh, the voice being projected from him, okay? But here is a cropped version of that image, and you lose it. So the person who cropped this image was thinking, oh, well, if I just show the part of the picture where his mouth is open, then people will know he's singing. And that is correct, we know he's singing but we cannot feel the voice coming out. If anything, the voice begins to come out and bounces off the top of this harsh line here and back down. So now we have this vertical coming up through the head of the, uh, of the shadow, and where it meets the top of the image, you have that diagonal coming up through his voice, through his head. So it almost feels like it's a, a low ceiling. It, the, the sound is just going out like, up, oh, boom, you know, it, it there's no place for that sound to travel. So it just feels like it's hitting and then coming right back down. It's, it's falling short. And that's what the cropping is doing. So if you go back to the original, here it is. Now, why does this one work? Let me flip between the two. Here it is. 
here it is. Well, let me show you from a designer's perspective why it works in the large format and not the small one. Do you see the gradient of values in the background along that wall? That's our eye traveling. Those values help our eye travel from Billy up into the sky. And it's just not on a diagonal. It's actually a, a nice curve to it, a gentle curve to it. So you can see it here. Wee. He's singing out and, and, and projecting his voice. It's just not singing up, but he's singing out. And because our eyes get to follow that little gradation in the background, we feel like we, we're... That, we feel the projection of the voice because our eye is actually traveling the distance. It's traveling um, along the path that the voice would be carried on. Okay? And when you cut that, boom, the voice stops because our eye cannot travel any further. It's just, ba boom, that's it. Where now, because our eye is traveling, it's, ba. You, you, you get what I'm saying? So these are the little things that you want to pay attention to when composing, designing your work that you're actually communicating your ideas effectively. And you want to use the gradients in the background. You want to use the, the subjects and the objects that are in your composition to help move the eye so that it triggers a certain emotion or experience or feeling or an idea in the viewer. And in this case, the photographer did a brilliant job at bringing our eye in from the left along the mic. It even has a little wire coming through here, coming uh, to, the, to the bottom part of his face. And then all of the other angles in his face, his body, um, are then pushing us out. He's projecting that voice out. I even like the verticals in his shirt. So it's bringing us back up to the voice that then is projected out. And then when it goes out, it then begins to curve. And that's what that light and that gradation in the background is doing for us as the viewer. It's giving us the path for the voice to travel. That's it. Take that and apply it to your work and watch your work grow. Now, um... If you guys want me to <clears throat> analyze a work, please post the image in the comments so that I can do that. And um, and that's number seven. Can you believe we've done a week now? We've done a week. So we got 93 more to go. And we're going to crush it. And they're going to be amazing. And we're going to have a beautiful library of, of videos, a beautiful video library at the end of this uh, journey. So... Leave some comments, share this video with your art friends, uh, have conversations about composition and design.